Well, you would think it would be welcome news, but we've got over 100 millimeters of rain coming to California with a pattern change. But I'm going to talk a little bit about why this actually could be a detriment to the situation uh, that is going on, particularly in northern California. Of course, we've been talking about the Paradise Fire, also called the Camp Fire. Now 151,000 acres burned and still growing because although they are making progress with it, um, it is 70% contained. It is still actually expanding in size. Uh, we've heard at least 79 deaths. By the time you're looking at this, this could have gone up slightly. These stats are changing uh, rapidly, both in terms of the uh, people that are unaccounted for and unfortunately the fatalities. 700 people are still unaccounted for. That's gone down since yesterday. There was at around 1,000. Uh, but this fire has actually destroyed 100, uh, sorry, 10,000 homes. And as I mentioned, we've got um, 100 to 150 millimeters of rain. You can see we're looking at the um, European model here, bringing most of it into Northern California, exactly where we need it. The problem is, is that the land has been scorched. So there's no soil left. There's only debris, ash, you know, um, yeah, pieces of houses, rock, all these kinds of things that are just on the land. And so what happens is the water can't be absorbed by the soil, so it runs off. So we could have major flooding, which is going to wash away a lot of, you know, belongings that's helping rescue efforts and, of course, accounting for um, if there are survivors in any of, of this wreckage. Uh, flooding could wash away debris and, you know, memories that people still have from their homes that maybe they're sifting through. Uh, but it will ultimately help the fires themselves. It'll also help the air quality as well.